Hi, I'm Dr. Vermatthews. Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM calculation for arm recycling in order to calculate the oxygen consumption at a certain intensity during that exercise modality. So let's go ahead and get to our question that's going to help us frame all of this. So Brent is a client at your gym. He's currently cycling at 35 watts, uh, arm cycling at 35 watts, and he weighs 160 pounds. Um, how much oxygen is he using per minute to do this exercise at this intensity? So we have a number of given variables here. Um, the first one being that he is arm cycling, so we know the exercise modality, it's very important. Um, we also know the resistance, which is 35 watts, and we know his weight or his body mass to be 160, 60, 160 pounds. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert from 35 watts, um, well, I'm going to convert from watts to kilogram meters per minute, which is the unit for resistance that the ACSM calculations use um, for both arm cycling and leg cycling. So 35 watts uh, can just be divided by the constant value that is 0 0.163, and that's going to give you 214. Point 724 kilogram meters per minute as the resistance that the arm cycle ergometer is giving him. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert his body mass uh, from pounds to kilograms and so all I'm going to do is take his 160 pounds that we have in the, uh, the question up here, divide that by 2.2 which is the standard uh, conversion factor for pounds to kilogram kilograms and get 72.73 kilograms as his body mass. So the next thing we need to do is we need to look at the equation that we have to uh, use for all this. Uh, so uh, this is the last given variable for us. Um, and the only way it's given to us really is by the fact that we know that he's doing arm cycling. So we can go and look up the arm cycling equation and that's what I have here. So the VO2 in relative units, so that's milliliters of oxygen per kilogram body mass per minute, is equal to three times the work rate, which is this intensity, divided by the body mass plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. So if we take this equation and we go ahead and plug in our variables here, we end up with what you see here, which is VO2 in relative terms equal to three, uh, three times 214.724, this is the resistance or the work rate, um, divided by the body mass, which is 72.73, and add back in um, 3.5, which is essentially just the resting component to this. Um, so let's start off by doing the, the first, uh, first part of this. So the three times 214.724 will give you 644.172. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that value by his body mass, and that's going to end up giving us 8.857. And now all we have to do is add back in, uh, add in the 3.5, which again represents the resting component of all of this. So 8.857 plus 3.5 gives us a relative VO2 of 12.357 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. Um, so that's how much oxygen he's burning per kilogram body mass per minute doing the arm cycling that he's doing at that specific intensity. I hope this was helpful. It's a fairly straightforward calculation. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.